Welcome to the Harris Show. I'm your host, Jamal Radio Raheem Harris, and I'm with my sister and co-host, Angie Ange. So you already know what it is, but we're going to talk about everything, because that's what we do. We're going to be all over the place. We are a podcast of the culture. We don't follow the trends. So with that being said, go ahead, Angie Ange. All right. So all these questions I've just I've just randomly seen over like the last two weeks. So I was just like, oh, why not talk about them? Um, but the first thing we're gonna talk about is this Urban Meyer situation that has blown up everywhere on Twitter. Um, what are your thoughts? Um what are my thoughts on him dancing with a younger woman? Or Just the whole thoughts? like how it blew <laughs> up and like. <laughs> um, I think it blew up. I honestly, people don't like him as a person. Mm. Like it wouldn't have been this big if it was just like if like I did it. Like, like my boys would probably be like, "Oh, here he is," you know, joking about it. You know, what I'm saying they'll probably play like a song like mm -hmm. caught up or something like that like <laughs> they'll do something like that but like when you don't like somebody it just piles on <laughs> like media does not like urban meyer cause he's a dick mm -hmm. um like he's also has a history of doing some heinous things you know we're not gonna get into that but he has a history so mm -hmm. i just think the combination of people not liking him um his history and just just being him being a dog like like he put his wife in a situation where she got to defend him on uh, did you see what she said no i haven't seen what she said that we are all sinners <laughs> and you know when niggas start talking about sin <laughs> you know when, when you start bringing up we all sin and you you down bad you down yeah, real bad no she liked the tweet that said like she shouldn't have to deal with this Mm. and stuff like that she was doing you know she was you know you gotta do that low-key <laughs> <laughs> that's why one of the reasons i ain't on, on twitter i don't want people seeing what i like <laughs> <laughs> no that stuff get messy because now it pops up on the timeline yeah i don't know that stuff get messy messy but urban, um, urban meyer uh is very trash you know <laughs> he was all up on homegirl too. You know, crazy like, too this is what i think too this is what i think this is my opinion i think that everybody who was upset and arms are like about it especially like the dudes who are like super upset mm -hmm. i think you need to look into their history <laughs> look into what's going on with them because there ain't no way like i ain't up i'm not upset like let me just be clear I'm not upset that he's doing what he's doing. I think yeah. he's stupid to do it in a public setting. Granted, right, like just a regular old bar. Grant, it was his bar. So mm -hmm. I mean, he probably been doing this for years, you know, it's <laughs> his bar. When he was at Ohio State, nobody was gonna do anything against him at his bar in Ohio State. They probably covered up for him. Mm -hmm. He ain't there no more. He left y'all. They like, nah, we got you this time. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> The people who like really are like like this is terrible. Da, da, da. I'm like, bro, he's just cheating on his wife. Mm. Like, I I get he's done some heinous things. Now that's the stuff to be like upset about, like him covering up for domestic violence and all the stuff that happened at Florida. This mm. I ain't upset. I'm just like, you stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm more like disappointed in how stupid he would be to openly be doing this. So like, wait, he was a Florida coach absolutely he was a florida coach during the time when aaron hernandez was there that's what i was about to ask you is that the yeah. link to there that is. oh okay it happened at florida you know i watched that documentary they're like hmm, he had a couple questionable people if y'all don't know google, google it google it google <laughs> some of the stuff he covered up at florida some of these coaches i've been watching a lot of uh documentaries lately some of these coaches, they they do be doing some uh shisty stuff. Because these people, people don't care about anything. Because these money. niggas bringing in hella money. Because if you win, all is forgiven. Mm -hmm. Look at like look at LeBron. Like he went back to Cleveland, right? When he left, they burned his jerseys, called mm -hmm. them all type of names, said he wasn't a king no more. This nigga comes back, wins one championship for them. 
this nigga's a god now. He's a god. <laughs> He's a god. People are buying his jerseys. The people, same yep. people who burn his jerseys are buying his jerseys. Like, he can't do no wrong anymore because he brought them a championship. Like, the whole burning of jerseys, like, I never burn jerseys. I don't get rid of jerseys. Doing? Like, Lakers traded um, Ingram. I still got an Ingram jersey. I ain't getting rid of it. it. LeBron so James switched his number. I still got the 23. I ain't, I'm not getting rid of it. I bought it. He paid money. <laughs> you all crazy. Like, you burning the jersey does nothing. LeBron already got that money. The NBA already got that money. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. You burning it is not doing anything. Personally, they probably want you to burn the jersey. You're going to have to buy another one. <laughs> you're going to want another jersey from the team. If it ain't LeBron, you're going to buy somebody else. <laughs> if you were a fan of the team dumb but um yeah I just thought that was interesting because it was like all over Twitter and I have a question for you hmm. what would you do if you were married to a man or a woman I'm not gonna you know I don't know you did. to a man you know I don't like women, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> if, if you were married to somebody for 30 years mm-hmm. um and they were caught on camera, a seven second video, mind you, mm-hmm. getting danced upon. What you doing? Is it like, um, is my man uh Your man's a public figure. Oh, okay. I was like, is this a regular nigga? Cause <laughs> <laughs> he's a public figure. Um, damn, you know, I probably would do what the wife did. I'd be liking hella shit. Like I would never make a public statement though. I would just be like, it is what it, the group chat going to be on fire though. If someone leaked that, then I'd make a, com- uh, a comment, but you know, I'm like, you know what? At this point, I'm probably cheating on him too. <laughs> is you going to disrespect me like that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't I don't understand how that's where you went. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got our clip for the week, people. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. But no, I probably wouldn't be making a public statement because I always feel bad for the women who be doing that. I'm like, you don't come on. This yeah, man. because like when like men get cheated on, they don't never have to do a public statement. Mm-mm. Never. Keep I it. would never do it. I would never do it because like there's gonna be the people if you stay there's gonna be the people who are like um you're weak if you don't Mm -hmm. leave there are gonna be people like you're supposed to stay with your man through thick and thin but there's always gonna be people who have something to say and Twitter ain't the place to to do that public statement it's not but yeah my likes would be on fire it would definitely be (laughs) uh I'd have to probably put my page on private and so I'd be for sure like mm -mm. um but yeah he just makes smarter decisions in a world full of video recordings like come on I bet back in like 2001 like the coaches are so happy like the camera quality that they were Mm -hmm. doo-doo I'm sure now you can like zoom in and get all in his face you can get like the pimples on his face can't even deny like oh that's not me like that's definitely you (laughs) at your bar too (laughs) at your establishment like man no no respect for the wife at all now if they had an open relationship and stuff like that then it's you know it is what it is still that's still a way to (laughs) <laughs> you're still embarrassed man because now you have to come out and be like we have an open yeah. relationship and give details of your business and you know your family gonna see let's see this is like yeah there's no respect for urban meyer too at your establishment you y'all gonna record me at my <laughs> establishment how dare you y'all would have a no phone policy after that right <laughs> Oh, okay. Signing NDAs and shit to come up in here. Like, okay, oh, okay. you want to come in here and do that? You're a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Um, switching gears. When you were younger, well, I'm gonna ask the question. Then I'm asking another question. When you were younger, what age did you think you'd be married by? 
also when you were younger did you even think you'd be getting married I never thought I would be married and that's what I was thinking when I wrote this down I was like did he even think about marriage I thought I would be like um like like uh like Diddy and Cassie had it Mm. I moved on to better things um Mm. but I'm not Diddy I'm not a shitty person like that um if you don't know I don't like Diddy um respect the money don't like them but uh I think I thought I would be like you know settled down with some Mm -hmm. kids by 25 I'm 29 by 29 yeah you're right (laughs) (laughs) no but I'm saying what age did you think you'd be doing all that by? I thought I would be like settled down I would probably be like have my master's at 25 Mm -hmm. um being a, I would have like one kid right now and one on the way, mm. in my, like in my current age, and I would be in my career. Mm. That's what I thought I would be. I th- also thought like I would have a house that I own. Yeah, um, ain't that crazy? Like, cause I thought at twenty five I'd already have my masters, and I'd probably be like engaged or something, and you know, well off into a career. And I'm just I mean, like, you still can there's always those military dudes they marry you if they know you feel okay (laughs) (laughs) not today (laughs) they marry you like hey you breathe here you go um yeah it's just it's wild how we thought so much (laughs) when we're younger so naive honestly stuff costs so much too you just don't know Mm -hmm. like like my rent like you just didn't you don't know how much rent would be like the other kid yeah uh, rent's always paid I always have a place to stay mm-hmm. might not be the best of the work or the you know whatever but yeah. still you are never account for that um you never account for stuff that happened in life mm-hmm. death or shit you yeah know. it's just like damn it's just crazy I, I've been looking back like you know I die I don't want no funeral I don't want none of that I want people to have a party I Mm. want niggas to be playing spades and getting drunk like I don't want none of that because like that stuff is break your back yeah like we not doing that you like you honestly leave your your family with uh a burden ah burden is not the right word I don't use that word but I don't know a better word like they they have a lot of responsibility they have to grieve with you not being here and also pay for your funeral and yeah okay and also growing up I didn't realize how expensive (laughs) funerals were I'm like damn it costs that much to put somebody in I've always known it was expensive I didn't know it was like yo it costs money for everything Mm -hmm. I thought you pay one fee like you pay everything comes with it, like the casket. Yeah. I thought it was that. I always I always knew it was expensive. I didn't know how expensive that shit is ridiculous. Caskets alone. But yeah, I thought I would be pretty much settled down. Mm-hmm. Um I've also my views on a lot of stuff has changed. Same. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like kids, like <laughs> I don't know about that. Right, no, no, same. I literally was like, I don't know. I don't know if that's in my books, you know. I want to be a, if I have kids, I want to be like a, a older dad. I don't want to be like 30 with a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's like next year for me. So obviously why. It really is. But um, <laughs> like I want to be like, cause like, man, there's so much that I want to do. Like mm-hmm. I got two trips coming up. Like mm-hmm probably a third one i might book a third one i'm trying to go somewhere i'm trying to go to three places are you going to vegas or no no sell your ticket yeah i already sold it oh hey man let me you asked me that off my bad it just came you said trips and i was like i don't want people to know i got (laughs) wrong with you (laughs) um yeah i'm trying to i'm going well you're going to seattle with me so i'm going to denver in a couple weeks Mm-hmm. then i'm trying to go i'm trying to go to louisiana i'm about to hit you kill up mm-hmm. and some other people i already told them for this uh, year next year 
the hell? I ain't going this year. That's why I was like, for that, like, Mm-mm. I'm trying to go next year. Mm. Um, I don't think I want. I don't need to go to Vegas ever again. <laughs> uh, I've been to Vegas a couple times. It's cool. It's not. I'm from California. <laughs> I always got to remind myself that like it's just not. It's just California on steroids, basically. Like. <laughs> People are just losing, like, I don't know what it is about Vegas that make people be like, oh, all my responsibilities out the window. It's just vacation in general. It's not even a vacation, though. Mm. If you're from, like, San Diego, L.A., even shit, Oakland, it's not really a vacation. It's just a, a whole bunch of people in a smaller space. Yeah, but if you're from, like, a small-ass town. Yeah, if you're from, Vegas, like, that shit's from crazy. Wyoming. <laughs> I understand it's a whole different lifestyle yeah but you from these cities like that or Houston mm-hmm. Atlanta uh, Miami like Vegas I don't know what it is for, that it does for y'all y'all everything Vegas offers y'all have yeah and more so yeah I don't even know how we got here exactly <laughs> We didn't already. I'm gonna cut that whole fucking part out. <laughs> Vegas. Um, I'm actually I'm leaving it. I don't like editing. Leave it in. Fine. People who um, edit, who, who, that shit sucks, bro. I don't know how. <laughs> man, I got so much respect for like these YouTubers who do all of it themselves. That shit is annoying. Yeah. Hey, um. Shit. All right. So name something you wish Black Friday deals applied to. Fucking my student loan. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Let these things be like eighty percent off. <laughs> well, they feel like if you pay a thousand dollars, your whole loan is cleared. Yeah, uh, rent ain't getting paid this month. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be homeless. Like, I don't care. My student loan. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I was like student loans, fucking flights. Not even. I don't mind paying money, paying money for flights. I honestly feel weird when my flights be like too cheap, because I'm like, why? why? Is it so because I'm like, why is it so cheap? Mm-hmm. We gonna die? That's why I don't trust Spirit. They flights are always dirty. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, I'm like, ah, dirt cheap. Like Southwest really is just a bougie spirit. Southwest is literally a bougie spirit. Yeah. But I feel comfortable on that bougie I, that's The only reason why I do Southwest is because of the, the bags that get mm-hmm. free. And it's- what irritates me, people still don't be checking their bags in, which takes them longer to get off the plane. And I just like... Because some people don't want to deal with, like, waiting on their bags. And, yeah, like, I get that, because they do be taking forever. But come on, oh, man. It'd be like, I remember I was on one flight, and, like, nobody was checking in their bags. And they made an announcement. They're like, there's no more space of the overheads. Y'all gonna have to check in your bags. I'm like, see, now we gotta wait longer if you yeah. were to check it in, in the beginning. I hate I hate on airplanes when people get up and they're like, their seat is behind yours and they try to go mm. in front of you. I hate mm. that so much. Mm. So much. That's like a, a little thing, but it irritates me. So I'm not gonna lie, I did that the last flight. <laughs> I was zooming through the miles. <laughs> nah, because I don't like it. I don't like it when like you in the way back, mm-hmm. right? And all of a sudden you next to me. I can't even get up. So I have mm-hmm. to wait on you. But I always let people go. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. I don't. But like mm-hmm. if I just have my backpack, I'm not about to sit and wait and wait and you, wait and wait. You, and wait. Pay, you pay for you pay more money mm-hmm. to, to sit where you sit normally, mm-hmm. you know, or you paid faster got the deal ahead of time and you're one of the first people to sit down or I no it has to do a check-in don't it no yeah no if i buy say like i buy my ticket for um next year i buy it right now mm-hmm. i'm gonna be like one of the first people to board damn i didn't know that yeah your check-in time would be like if you check in like fucking your check-ins at 11 and you check in at 3 p.m yeah mm-hmm. that's gonna change it uh, okay. you're supposed to you're gonna be one of the first people to get on yeah man they some hoes man they you know they some hoes <laughs> man and like being b group uh oh that's like, like a, an that's like a spirit ticket basically i'm like b group i was b group last time and i was like 
Uh, you about the bathroom and shit. You about the bathroom, huh? <laughs> I'm all the way in the back, like. Fuck no. Oh, man. I like to be in, like, the middle. If yeah. I could, like, even when I could get on first, I like to be in the middle, like, mm-hmm. close to where, like, um, the safety people are, mm-hmm. like, behind them or in front of them, so I don't yeah. have to worry about 10 that. through, like, 15 is where I'm trying to be. Like, I'm, try- I'm trying to be, like, where, like, I don't have responsibilities, but if, like, some shit went down mm-hmm. i'll be one of the first people to get the fuck off that plane but you're responsible for these people <laughs> they're like when they ask you like you're sitting in an exit row well, i always sit like <laughs> ahead of that. yeah i just like, I, be I hope down. i don't get b-group this next flight <sighs> i know i'm not i buy my ticket well in advance <laughs> um Damn, what was the question? What was I on? I fucking know. Oh, student uh Black Friday deal. <laughs> also rent. If they did like rent, like buy buy one, get two off or something. Mm, buy like one, get two off. free. Yeah. <laughs> buy two months ahead of time, you get one month free. Like mm-hmm. if they did something like that, I'll do it. Or tuition. Um tuition buy one semester and get the other half off. <laughs> that shit should be free, so I don't. Like, I don't think rent should be free. I think school should be free. So I don't think school should even, you didn't have to worry about that. School should be free. But here we we got to pay our loans and our broke-ass government don't even have money. <laughs> I was going to talk to you about that. I was like, can you believe this? These broke are asses. Still making us pay. They making us pay, though. Y'all can't even pay y'all loans. Y'all, y'all, y'all something else. Y'all are something else. Y'all can't pay y'all stuff but expect the people to pay it. I'm not paying it. How about that? Since y'all can't pay it, I can't pay either. What? Mm. That don't make no sense. Mm-mm. And Joe Biden, you messing up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you All your promises that you did, you didn't even have to promise us these things. You was going to win regardless because we did not. That's not a little extra in it. You have to add, oh, I'm going to help HBCUs. Oh, I'm going to help student loan payments. You ain't do neither. You haven't done neither. You asshole. It ain't cool, Joe. It ain't cool. We'll see if you're getting reelected. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. How about that? <laughs> All right. Um. All right, name a song that the majority of people like. All right, all right, all right. So this one was like a little tricky because I had to think of my like my experiences with the others, you know, the cockazoids, <laughs> with the other unseasoned people. Well, all um, cultures too, you know. Don't just you know. Yeah, but I know them. You know, I know them pretty well. <laughs> uh, it's just the 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 whites. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So the song that the majority of people like, the first song that I thought of was Thriller. Oh, yeah. Because, because everybody loves Thriller oh, because right. of Halloween and everything like that. That doesn't have race or anything to do with it. Yeah, so, that song about to be played out in the next couple of weeks. Oh, it already started here. It has already started. People started Halloween a month ago, bro. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Mm. But um, Thriller, Michael Jackson is definitely yeah, the that's song. a good one. I didn't even think about it. Do you have a song? Uh, I said September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. I have that down. Everyone, yeah, everyone loves that song. Yep. I do no wrong with that. Do you remember? I've been to like different types of parties and stuff. Everyone had that one. Um, Motown Philly. Mm. Um, white people love that song. <laughs> listen, listen, black people, they love that song. Go to karaoke with them. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> I've been to karaoke probably like three times, mm. um, like publicly, and every time a white person has sang Motown Philly as a group to every time every time that they love that song i haven't heard like trust me yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. there's a couple other songs um 
I'm trying to figure out what like they all. I think it's juvenile back that ass up that they be playing nah. at their weddings. That's not. I'm telling you. Nah, everybody do not. That song does not. It's too vulgar for like older white folks. You gotta like censor it. It's too Girl, old. It's it's too. Good. Why don't you back that butt up? <laughs> it's happy, happy by Pharrell. Mm, yeah. I just thought of that one because you know kids were like enjoying that a lot um my age group obviously enjoyed it um adults enjoyed it that song was everywhere everywhere i'm happy happy. pharrell knew what he was doing with that one um that was supposed to be for CeeLo. really why didn't it go to CeeLo? because of his little situation i think he turned it down i don't i don't know what you're talking about either Uh oh um should i google (laughs) some stuff about CeeLo? Uh, it was like in the peak of his little allegations. Oh, okay, but no. Um, yeah, it was supposed to go to CeeLo. Pharrell says CeeLo's version is actually better. Um, are we ever gonna hear it? Probably not. Probably not. CeeLo chilling. But CeeLo, I can see like CeeLo's voice. Mm-hmm. It fits like that. Yeah, his life. Forget you and Yeah. Clap along if you feel. Like, you know what <laughs> yeah. He would have definitely did that. Um, I think Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm. Because because obviously the white people love that song. Mm. Black people love that song too, though. Oh no. The reason why I the reason why I believe this is when we went to the lake trip. Um not this current this year last year mm-hmm. um we did karaoke and it's a mixed house you know mm-hmm. yeah you know. mm-hmm. <laughs> um and the black people were singing it the most <laughs> so i was gonna say oh what's that one song what is that the beat? Dun, 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 dun. Um, Bobby Caldwell, what you gonna do for love? Oh <laughs> yeah. That but I don't know. What's a song like? What's I don't know if there's any song like this is a hard question. A universal song that everybody likes. Cause thriller is because my but any Michael Jackson really is mm-hmm. off of that album. Uh happy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's another one. There gotta be some old, like. It has to be like classic rock or like classic, like soul. Or like, we will. That probably. Well, that one is because of sports. Yeah. I would say that one. That's Queen, too, right? Yeah, Queen um, had a lot of hits that I did not know. That's Queen. Uh, Dancing Queen, ABBA. Mm-hmm. that one there's a lot of songs actually it's just hard like thinking about them it's honestly hard to figure out i know what like black people i know what white people in california like mm-hmm. i don't know what white people in uh the midwest like yeah. i think i have a feeling of what white people in the south like yeah um, like so they listen to Alabama. that uh, chopping screw too they like that sweet home alabama shit too um, that song doesn't hit the same when you know the history i wish i didn't know this dude on tiktok just ruined a TikTok. Couple. this dude ruined like 10 songs for me man jesus christ i had to i had to unfollow him because he was just he was decoding the songs going through the history i'm like yo what you doing bro you ruining music for me it's like i don't the ice cream that. the ice cream truck song i was like damn okay. I can't even be excited about <laughs> ice cream truck coming by. It's just yeah. crazy. I have, I, I have a random question. What's one video that stays in your head? Just a random video? Mm-hmm. Like a bad video. Oh. Offensive video. Offensive? Well, it doesn't have to be offensive. There's one offensive video that's been in my head for like weeks. Um... 
I'm, I don't know about like offensive, but the ones that stuck in my head is the <laughs> whoever threw the paint. <laughs> your mom's a hell. I've been saying that shit like randomly. It's whoever threw that paint. Yeah, I don't know. That Justin Bieber video when he's saying the N word. Why is that? Why would that be? I don't, I've been reading like a lot of, um, every now and then I get to like, like a two black, like even from my own, like mm. I get down this little, like I read a whole bunch of stuff and mm. I've been down you there. Need a, you need a, yeah. Decom- that video has been in my head. Decompressed. Decompress. Because his album came out, right? Mm-hmm. Um, at Deluxe or something. And that's been in my head the whole time. I was going to listen to it. But I've been thinking about that the whole time. Like he said it more than once in the video. Mm-hmm. That's what it, it, it is what it is. But um, let's move along because I <laughs> niggas be saying niggas. The non niggas. Wiggas, wiggas, wiggas be saying niggas too. Um. All right. So last question: Top five a live action theme song what's a, a live action what's a, a live action i said top five live actions i just did a little you said top five, five a live action no i didn't it. so when this plays hey, back hey, tomorrow okay. i'm gonna <laughs> right. and you're right. like hey. i'll send you the clip so don't worry <laughs> <laughs> top five live action all right do you want to go um five and then i get my five or or you want me just to get my whole list and then you give your whole list you can give your whole list. Let me do All mine right. first. Okay. All right. I got Jamie Foxx show. Wayne Bros. I ain't even think of that one. Yeah. I got the Wayne Bros. I got Fresh Prince. Oh, wait. Living Single, then Fresh Prince, and then Golden Girls. As your one. My one is Jamie Foxx. You, why'd you, who goes five? I know. I just realized. <laughs> I, re- I know. <laughs> I always, I, I did it in the early stages of doing this podcast and then I changed it and then I just reverted back. I don't to understand world. why you would give. <laughs> I went back to that old way. My bad. All right. Well, my five mm-hmm. is Keenan and Kel. Mm, I forgot about them. Four is Golden Girls. Um, three is All That. Mm-hmm. Two is Fresh Prince. And then mm-hmm. number one is Living Single. Yeah. Now, we left some good ones off the list. Yeah. No. We did. Before people get up in arms, I don't count Martin's theme song because mm-hmm. it doesn't say shit. But That's what Martin. I had it on here. And then I said, well, Martin don't really be... Yeah, it don't really be saying much. So I didn't count that. I didn't count the Office's theme song because it doesn't. Because it's just. Um, now good times almost made it. I'm not gonna good lie. times for sure almost made it. Um, the Jeffersons moving on up. Mm-hmm. Finally got a piece of that pie. Um, the Law and Order, same thing with the Office. It, yeah, it just didn't count for me. <laughs> That might be one that, like, um, like when you hear it, you know exactly what you're about to see, though. Yeah, I wouldn't say a theme song. I would just say, like, who, who if anything, we'd have to do who has, like, the most recognizable opener or something. Because then that would be, for sure, Law & Order. Yeah. Um, but there's a, there's a couple ones we left off. Uh, That's so Raven. Did you not? That's so Raven. Yeah, wouldn't have made my list. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't expect it to. I don't think it would have made my top twenty. That's fine. You don't. You you wasn't even rocking with Raven like that. So I I still don't. You were like well into your teenage years. Mm, I might not even been a teenager. I'm pretty okay. sure. What year did that show come out? I don't know because I was like 10, 11 watching it. That's so right. It came out in 2003. I was 11. So damn. I was way younger than I thought. <laughs> I just didn't rock with, I don't rock with Raven like that. Um, what was you watching at um, 11 years old? Mm, Not no kid shows, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured. 
we watched a lot of my wife and kids. Mm. Um, yeah, there was nothing kids show. We watched <laughs> Bros, Jamie Foxx show. We were watching all them shows at this time. Yeah, every time I think of Wayne's Bros, like I can't help just think like everybody in the living room before school watching that shit. Like, that's I didn't have them on my list too because their theme song is an actual song. I mean, oh, you're using the the We Are Brothers. Yeah. That one? Oh. Yeah. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When I think of their theme song, I think of the, the actual the one that switched. Yeah. Yeah. The, no, I use the the first one. Okay. Well, um, give your list again, and then I'm gonna uh, mine. I'll we'll give it in the correct order this time. Golden Girls, Living Single, Fresh Prince. Oh, wait. Bone Girls, Fresh Prince, Living Single, Wayne's Brothers, Jamie Foxx Show. Jamie Foxx Show is your number one, though. Mm-hmm. Here I go, here I go. Oh. Man, I can't, they, like, they really slacking on not putting this shit on any streaming platforms. They probably don't uh, have the money. Gotta pay for it. I'm like, no. Uh, you would think it would be on, like, Amazon Video. Right. You have to pay for it. Um, do you have a favorite Jamie Foxx episode? Ooh. I don't know if I have a favorite. Right. I was I was thinking about that. Like I have favorite moments. Mm-hmm. I like the football episode a lot. Mm. Um, I like the episodes more when he's like trying to get fancy. Mm. Um, I like yeah. them together too, but like because like he just be saying some wild stuff. Yeah. I don't know if I have a favorite episode. Jane, bye. <laughs> oh man, I love Jane Fox. But give your list. Go ahead. Sorry, because I just, I just. Um, my five is Kenan and Kel. Mm-hmm. Um, four is Golden Girls. Three is oh that. See, mine has like classic people singing it too. Mm-hmm. You got like regular ass people singing yours. <laughs> we have three of the same <laughs> I have I have Coolio I got we have three Street. of the same theme songs so and then I got the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air so Will Smith I have that on Ringo. my I got Queen Latifah I have that as I'm well saying, if we did a versus battle with mine versus yours George I didn't be- even think about Nickelodeon I didn't because you said live action I automatically went to like also too like that's a, the age uh, difference so you're watching That's So Raven. Mm-hmm. We're watching like Teen Nick. Mm-hmm. So like Keenan and Kel, all that. Amanda Show. Um, Cousin Skeeter. Yeah. All these shows are coming on like around. And you're like, oh, That's So Raven. <laughs> that's So Raven. This is the future. I, yeah, wish, I, I wish her future would have told us that she was gonna say some dumb shit like I don't know I'm from every okay <laughs> all right I'm not gonna do it from, we're not gonna bash Raven I, I Raven has said some dumb stuff recently <laughs> past couple weeks I'm gonna let her go, let her be I'm ass Raven so I gotta stop I'm trying to stop cussing so much because I'd be trying all to right. clip this and put it on TikTok. And that's hard, man, because I'm not about to go through and censor everything. And yeah. That takes too long. But um, thank y'all for watching The Harris Show. I've been your boy, Jamal Radio Raheem. I have my sister and co-host, Angie Ange. And we'll see y'all next week. Peace out. Peace.